friends, it's Paige Evans and I'm back with a new process video to share with you today. This is an Easter themed layout using one of my cut vials and my Bloom Street collection. So I knew I wanted to watercolor over this intricate design and so to prep my background I'm using white gesso and a cool scraper tool by Vicki Booten and scraping the gesso across this white textured cardstock background and this will help absorb the watercolors more, help them blend together more instead of just bleeding right through the cardstock. I'm attaching it to the Cricut mat and then letting the Cricut do its thing, cutting out this Easter egg cut file and then carefully peel it off the mat because it is so delicate you want to take your time making sure it doesn't tear as you are peeling it off the mat. If there's any pieces hanging on, I just use a little paper piercer to poke those pieces on through. Now I'm using my two favorite sets of watercolors by Prima. The top one is called Pastel Dreams and the colors are perfect for Bloom Street, which is very pastel colored. And the bottom tin, it's cut off here in the picture, but it's called Tropicals and the colors are more vibrant and tropical. And so I'm using the watercolors to paint over the design. I first added some yellow into the middles of a lot of the flowers and then painting each flower a different color. So there are a few different pinks in the Pastel Dreams watercolor set. There are a couple blues and mints. So I'm painting the flowers first and then I will paint the leaves with those greens. There, there is an orange in the Pastel Dream set, but I wanted it to be a little bit darker, so I grabbed the orange from the Tropicals and mixed my own orangish color. And then this brighter pink flower that I'm painting right now is also from the Tropicals, so it's a little more vibrant. Here we go, painting the leaves with some mints and greens. And then I did speed up the drying process with a hair dryer because I want to continue on. I'm using this greenish bluish watercolory paper from Bloom Street trimming off the tab and then I rotated it 180 degrees so that the blues are on the top instead of the bottom. So it's like the sky and then the greens or the grass is at the bottom. So that worked out nicely. I'm using some quick dry adhesive to attach this egg. I only put a little dab on some of the flower centers and on the leaves and at the top of the egg because I want the cut file to have dimension and lift off the page a little bit. I'm using this photo of Fox and Jane from Easter 2019. So last year's Easter, as I was filming this, it wasn't Easter 2020 yet, so I'm just reaching into my archive of photos um, and found this cute picture of them. For the title, I'm mixing and matching some thickers from Bloom Street. So the fresh is from the puffy vinyl stickers and eggs is from the floral thickers, their foam. And then going to start embellishing. So I'll frame the title with a few different kinds of leaf die cuts and stickers. So again, the leaves will be from the puffy vinyl stickers as well as the floral die cuts. There's a package of leaves in that set. Framing it, adding more pops of color. And then I want to ground the egg, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do some fringe strips, cutting a piece of cardstock first, just into a wavy line, and then using fringe scissors to add some texture, kind of like Easter grass. But I also want to add some green, so I'm grabbing in another sheet of the same paper that I used for the background, trimming another wavy line into it, just eyeballing it, freehanding it, and then I want two pieces, so I just trimmed off that other side with my paper cutter, and then fringing those two pieces of pattern paper as well. So then I will sandwich them or layer them together down at the bottom and use double-sided tape to attach them in place. I thought about using a sewing machine to stitch them down, 
maybe I was just too lazy, I don't know, but double-sided adhesive worked great. And then you can use your fingers to make the fringe even more prominent. I'm going to tuck my photo at a slight angle into the fringe, flipping it over and trimming off anything excess that's hanging over the edges of this layout. So the fringe was hanging off just a little bit, a butterfly that I used to cover a distracting bag in the photo. So that's a good tip. If there's something in the photo that doesn't go along with the color scheme, so this bag is pink with black polka dots, so I just mostly covered it up with a dimensional butterfly sticker. I used the mini alphabet stickers from the four page sticker book to write Easter above, so it's fresh Easter eggs. And then there are these cute little creature stickers in the four page sticker book. So I'm adding a cluster of them down here at the bottom to mirror or to help balance the title. So the title is up on the top left corner. So I'm adding this cluster of embellishments and the photo on the bottom right corner. So you've got a good balance across the page. I'm using a white paint pen from Sharpie to write my journaling along the curve of the egg. And then the final step, I just want to add some flowers. So I'm popping them up with foam squares and then using the same white pen to draw some stems and leaves. So again, using this white pen mirrors the journaling on the top right, I will have white pen on the bottom left. So it's all about balance. Freehanding it, hoping I don't mess up. And if I do, if I had, I would have had to figure out a creative solution. Luckily it turned out and here is the finished page. I hope you are inspired to scrap your Easter memories using my cut files and Bloom Street collection. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.